Love Scrap and I have kind of a personal question to ask you today. What are you doing with all your pops? Now, first before we get into that, I might want to explain to you what a pop is. And a pop is one of the many acronyms we have here at Club Scrap and it stands for Pound of Paper. And it's literally a pound of paper that comes in all kinds of different sizes and colors and you can have one added to your kit each month and use them to add to all your layouts and projects and it coordinates with all the stuff that you'll get in your monthly collections. I've got one really cool idea here for you today and it's a pop notepad. I'm going to show you how to create your very own custom notepads out of all different kinds of sizes and colors of paper in your pops. So, I've got a whole bunch of pops here and I'm just going to take out some colors here and see what I've got. I have selected these papers that all coordinate together. Now if you've got a whole bunch of different sizes, you're going to want to trim them down to the same size. You can make a notepad of any size you want. This happens to be, gosh, let's find out. This is about 5 by 7 it looks like. So this will be a nice good size notepad for you, but you can make all kinds of different sizes. This is really, really simple. I'm going to take some binder clips, just regular old household binder clips. You're going to stack the paper nice and tight on whichever edge you want to bind. And then clip those binder clips on there. Clip those binder clips on there. And I'm going to be using Club Scraps Book Binding, Padding, and Laminating Adhesive to do this. Now, you'll notice that it's called Book Binding, Padding, and Laminating Adhesive, and we're going to be using the padding function today, which is padding our notepad. So this is actually meant to do this, and we're going to just put a nice, generous portion of glue onto whatever edge we're going to bind. And this would normally be the time, if you've taken Club Scrap, classes before that I would tell you to not put too much glue on. You want to have a nice generous coat of glue on the binding edge. And you want to make sure that you have that generous coat so that it gets right down into all the little crevices of the papers there. And you want to make sure you get it all the way from one edge to the other because that's going to bind all of these papers together into a notepad. Once you have your first coat on, you're just going to let it dry just until the glue turns clear. Then you're going to go back again, put another coat of glue on, and simply just let it dry until it turns clear and you see that you have a nice thick coat of the padding adhesive on there. Now let's take a look at one that I finished just a few minutes ago so you can see how it works. I've got my binder clips on and I've finished with my two coats of glue. If you think you need another one, you can go ahead and do that, but two should do it. I'm going to take the binder clips off and we're going to show you how this turns into a notepad. There you are. You can just flip right through it and they're all bound together, easy as that. These actually have a couple cutouts in them too with some designs on them so you can get really creative with the types of paper that you put into your notepads. I also have another sample here that is a cute little sticky note size and remember that you can do stamping on the bottoms of your pages or on the sides to create cute little sayings and leave notes for people. Now if you really want to be a pop star, I've got a couple more uses for these awesome little pieces of paper for you. Here are a couple adorable little bookmarks that we made just by stamping on pieces of paper and adding some little fibers and ribbons to the top. Check out this adorable little mini gift book. We've just cut some pieces of pops into small little page sizes, added a binder ring to the corner, perfect for great grandma's purse. And then we have this awesome 8x8 eight eight page that was created by one of our very gifted designers, Kay Williamson. And she has, has a very dark piece of base paper here and then has simply cut pieces of pop into small little sections to have a mosaic collage kind of photo mat behind her photo. Also, you'll notice down here, this is the unmounted font from the Mirror Mirror collection, which is the November kit, and this font is perfect. It has those nice big size letters that you can stamp on the pops and cut them out to create this adorable title. Now these are just a few ways that we've found to use our pops, but our wonderful members have gotten together on our chat forum and discovered over 102 ways to use their pops, so you can check that out through our website. Also one of our members, found a way to double the number of assembly line layouts she can create each month by using the pop that she receives in her kit, and that is just an awesome value. Well, I got 
some pops to use here, so I better get busy. I'll see you next time at the clubhouse.